everyone, welcome to episode two of the Fight Preview. We'll be looking at one of the fights coming up on the Goodwin Boxing Shows. Today we turn our attention to the Unleashed Show at York Hall on the 14th of March. The fight between Southern Area Super Welterweight Champion Dean Richardson as he defends his strap in the first defense against Conrad Stemkowski. So we'll start first with the champion. So Richardson began his career uh, at the age of just 20, when he fought against a foreign legion of sorts at the beginning of his career. March 2016, he made his debut against Latvian Alexei Grustens, halting him in round number four. Then it was the turn of Croatian Ivan Devancic, with Richardson dropping him twice in the third before the ref called a close on the bout. Another opponent from another country followed in Richardson's third bout. This time it was Polish Marcin Chabolski, was the victim going in the same way to the previous two. The referee Lee Every stopped the contest at two minutes of round number three. Moving into his second calendar year as a pro, in 2017, Dean stepped up to six, six rounds and saw yet another opponent from another European country, this time in Hungary, Zoltan Tirani. The six rounds didn't make much difference as again, round number three, Tirani was clinically dispatched. Quickly followed by a second round KO victory over Slovakian Andre Morovec on the George Groves versus Jamie Cox undercard. So it was, Dino was now 5-0 with five KOs. Tough to match, so more durable opponents were sought. Someone to give Richardson the rounds to start to move him towards title contention. Up steps, 52 fight veteran, Jan Balog, who is known for his durability, and is the first person to take Richardson the full scheduled round. But Dino winning every round on the scorecards. Then it was May 2018, it was time for Richardson to take part in his first eight round contest. For this fight, we needed someone who could test him, someone who was tough, someone who had seen it all before. Step forward, William Warburton, who is unofficially the hardest dude on the planet. In 200 pro fights, yeah, you heard that correctly, 200 professional fights, he's only never heard the final bell three times. Warburton took Richard the full eight rounds, but Dino ran out comfortable winner, 80-73 on the scorecard. Richardson's next three opponent were Lithuanian Arvidas Trizno, Croatian Sylvie Cabet, and Armenian Sergi, whose surname I'm not going to pronounce because it's about a 12th take and I can't be asked to get it, but with one point and two KO victories respectively. Then came the big one, 28th of September 2019 at York Hall, saw him get his crack at his first professional title. Taking on former champion Nathan Graham, many of the boxing media tipped Graham to capture the title for the second time in this fight, but it took just a few seconds in the second round for Richardson to stamp his name into the history books with one of the best right hooks you are likely to see. So good, in fact, was the finish, so I'm going to show it to you now. How do you see Dean coming out for the second round? Just much the same as the first. Keep Using looking for that left hand. Yeah, that, definitely, that, that body shot or low blow certainly hurt Graham. Oh, oh that, that's a good shot, and that's over. That's I don't think he gets up. Beautiful right hand from Dean. We said he can bang. He just caught Graham, he's all over oh, Graham, his legs have gone, the ref's got to call this off, and it's over in the second win. round, what a, a hook, win. what a hook from Richardson. And not just a great win, but in great fashion. I didn't hear you there, Martin, say that again. Not just a great win, but the fashion of it yeah. as well, the Excellent. speed, the power. Excellent shot, we said he can bang, caught him there, fantastic shot, a great, great win. And the new Southern Area champion is Dean Richardson. So that was it. He was and still is the Southern Area Champion. But when you're a champion, you have a target on your back. You're aimed at, even hunted, so to speak. Well, the hunter on this occasion is none other than Australian, sorry, Austrian, Conrad Stemkowski, who now resides in Reading. 11 fights as a pro, winning nine against only two defeats. He turned pro a couple of months after his next opponent, Richardson with Stemkowski entering the ring for the first time as a pro in July of 2016. He left the ring four rounds later, 1-0 with a points victory over Ali Wire. And then just over a month later, next up was Dan West. Now this shows Stemkowski's mentality, as Dan West is a decent test for most novice pros, and by no means a routine journeyman. West throughout his 13 fight career pulled off wins against a couple of unbeaten prospects. But Stamkowski proved he had enough and he edged out a 39-38 win. 
close, but as explained, West is lively. Next up was Bulgarian Konstantin Alexandrov, a very experienced fighter who works from a tight high guard, but Stengowski showed his boxing, had the boxing prowess to unpick him, and also his next opponent, Lucas, Lucas Kuck, taking both of the fights on the scorecards 40-36. Now, the 27th of May 2017, Stemkowski took on one of Britain's most experienced fighters in Kevin McCauley. And it was in this fight we got to see what Stemkowski was made of, as he experienced his first potential boxing crisis. McCauley dropped Stemkowski in the second round. Now, a knockdown in a four round fight is generally considered worse than a longer fight, just because you have less rounds to claw back the points. It can cause some fighters to become frantic, even panicked, as they try and chase down those lost points in, over the shorter distance. But Stamkowski rose to the challenge and even with the knockdown came away 38 37 on the scorecard. But at the back end of 2017 and the early part of 2018, Tempkowski picked up three points victories over Stuart Hillman, Danny Little and Dwayne Green. 29th of September 2018, Stemkowski wanted to test himself against one of the best in the division and took the opportunity to take on undefeated and talented prospect George, George Laporte. But the, pro the task proved too big for him on this occasion, with Laporte halting Stemkowski in round four of a scheduled six. But undeterred, Stemkowski bounced back with a points victory over again Scott Hillman just to get him back in the mix while he was looking for his next challenge. The next challenge came in the way of matchroom fire Kieran Conway. In Stemkowski's last fight, he travelled to Newcastle to take on the talented Conway. This is the same Kieran Conway who had just drawn with Ted Cheeseman for the British Super Welterweight title in Kieran Conway's fight just before that. So this is a big step up for Stemkowski. Again, he showed his character by taking a risk to travel away and test himself. Many had predicted that it would be an early stoppage victory for Conway. But although Stemkowski didn't emerge victorious that night, he went the full eight rounds and he asked questions of his own during that fight. He tested Conway, Conway he had some success. So though he comes into the fight with Richardson, considered as the underdog, he'll be totally unfazed by that fact. He's been here before, he's been there before after all. And on paper, his opponent, he's fought better opponents at a much higher level than Richardson has so far in his career. So, will Richardson continue in a rich vein of form? Will he handle the pressure of being a favourite? It's probably the first time Richardson's come into the fight being a favourite, apart from when he's fighting journeyman, especially for a, a title fight. Or will Stemkowski's higher quality of opponent prove useful? Will that experience of facing knockdowns and getting through them provide the key to securing the title? Well, here's how they shape up head to head. First thing to notice will be the wins, obviously, with Richardson undefeated in 11, and Stemkowski with nine with wins in nine of his eleven. Then the rounds there's not much difference. So Kowski slightly edges the experience, 50 rounds to Richardson's 42, but the clear difference is in the KO percentage. Stemkowski is yet to register a KO victory against Richardson's approximate 73% KO ratio. That's why many consider Richardson the favourite in this one. But having people expecting you to win and actually winning is two different things. This is a real fight for Dino, but it should be. It's for his southern area title after all. Moving on to the expert's opinion. So starting off with Steve Kipps, the trainer of Liam Dillon. Uh, Liam Dillon featured in our last and the first episode of the fight preview for his fight against Dennis Wahomey coming up in March. Uh, he said, Dean Richardson, early stoppage, his rangy southpaw style with good movement and angles will be too much for Stemkowski, who comes forward in straight lines and we picked off at distance as he comes into range. So Steve thinking it's gonna be an early stoppage for Richardson. Next up, is Danny Flexen, a journalist for SecondsOut.com. He used to write for the boxing news as well. Uh, Range of South, Paul Richardson is slick and can dig, as evident by the right hand that crumpled Nathan Graham in his last fight, which we see. He can telegraph his shots sometimes, but the long body Stemkowski should watch out for the sneaky lead uppercut to the midsection. The Austrian is technically sound, he's got a nice style, but stiff and often pushes his punches rather than snaps his punches. That, and he's never beaten an opponent with a winning record, underlines the gap in class against a good, fo good former amateur in Richardson, who should win inside the distance. So, 
Danny's seen it a similar way, to stoppage victory, but not as early as Steve Gibbs sees it. Third and final opinion is Tony Pill, a pro trainer of a stable of fighters. Uh, he says class and power lies with Richardson uh, in this contest. Fair play to Zemskowski for stepping out, but I only see a win for Richardson and probably by stoppages. So the experts are leaning with the favourite Richardson. But do the boxing fans, do you, the boxing fans, see it the same way? Well, we ran a poll on the Goodwin Boxing social media platform, Instagram uh, predominantly, and we asked for your opinion and asked to see how you see it. Now, it's pretty one-sided, as you can see, 86% picking Richardson for the win, and the only point I would make here is the poll is run on Goodwin Boxing social media, and Dino is a Goodwin Boxing fighter. So that will slightly bias the opinion, but obviously it's hugely substantial for Richardson, making him the favorite, as do the experts. So there you have it. Will Richardson regain his title, as most people, it would seem, expect? Or will that lack of hunger, or will he result in a lack of hunger? Will he cut corners with him being the favorite? Will Stimkowski pull off the shock? with him being the underdog driving and actually relieve him of the pressure of the fire. There's only one way to find out and that's be there on Saturday the 14th of March at your call. It's a great card. Sees another Southern Area title fight on there as well. We've seen Sean Phillips and Davis Pagan fighting out for the vacant Southern Area middleweight title, plus a full undercard. Tickets are still available from the boxers or via www.goodwinboxing.co.uk. They're priced at 40, 65 and 100 pound. Again, as always, if you're not following Goodwin box and social media then please do so and subscribe to our youtube channel thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you again on the next episode of the fight preview